Hey, folks. Finally. Finally. Out on trail. Uh, it's uh, stopped raining long enough to... On, and on a day that I'm off, that, uh, that I can get out and uh, take root boot for a walk. Because, yeah, he just got shaved yesterday. It's warm weather. Got him uh, shedding like crazy. So we went ahead and uh, took him and got him, got all that hair cut off of him. He's, he's a little bashful right now. They're as bashful as Ruggie gets. He, uh, <laughs> he went to the vet on uh, Wednesday. Got his uh, his checkup, clean bill of health. Had all his annual stuff going on. Uh, made sure he got his shots for coming out here. And he did have to go back in about three weeks for a booster, but I think it's gonna be all right. He's uh, he, he's ready to be out here too. Of course, he's got a he got a big lot to run around on. It's all fenced in, but he's got a lot of a lot of property out there. A little over a half acre to run and chase squirrels and enjoy himself. He gets lots of exercise. He gets so much exercise that he only weighs 66 pounds. Or did before he got his hair cut off. Probably 65 now. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out here and uh, walk about a little bit, shall we? That's weird. See if I can settle him down long enough to flip his camera around. Somebody got string all over it. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish there. But as you can see, it's a it's kind of overcast. It was real sunny and pretty, but it's a still a nice day. It's a, I don't know, upper 60s. In Fahrenheit. Don't know what that is in Celsius. But uh, it's nice. Nice, nice day. But uh, he's got a smell of everything. He ain't been up here in a while, so he's got a smell of everything. And of course, he's got a remarket. He's pretty remarkable. That big old tree. That's some damage to it. Get you some sap out of that thing. Pretty sweet. Squirrels have been at work. Enough of it. Got some top. It's pretty cool. Hey, it's a big old burl over. But there ain't no way I can rig or settle down long enough to make get you a picture of that.
There it is. <laughs> Told you you won't. Pretty nice burrow. Pretty high up the tree though. Hard to get to. Couldn't harvest it anyway. Not out here. <clears throat> huh? It's a nice place to be. Everybody's being nowhere. <laughs> son. Son. Come here. You got all wrapped up, tangled up. <laughs> he won't settle down. And I can't go fast enough for him. So how's the how's your year been going so far? Got a few things to uh, to do videos on. Got a oh 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 oh. <laughs> Took this side of the trail because it's not supposed to be any box over here, but it's a hiking trail only. I guess uh, a little excitement for that. Sorry about the jostling. I guess I can leave that in. Might be a little funny video, I guess. Gregor went nuts. He don't like bicycles and motorcycles and stuff like that. Anyway, I uh, I got a new axe. If you follow my social media, you you probably seen it. It's a Husqvarna Carpenter's axe. I need to do a video up on that and he still tore up but uh, I don't know we'll get a, get a few things going on hopefully I can do a overnighter for long but uh Anyhow, we'll get it going. Sorry for the big delay. Look at this crap. Look at that. What sense is there in all that? A lot of people do that. I don't get it, big damn. You want to get your drink of water? Put a dive off in there, Well, I had a choice to either bring Ruger over here today or bring the canoe. I can't bring them both. He don't like, he don't like the canoe. But, uh, looks like it would have been a nice day for the canoe. A nice day for Ruger too. I had planned to 
come way earlier. But I had some issues at the house. Don't pull me down, boy. Come down here, look. Is that what you wanted? Boy, it's pretty. A few people, <coughs> there's a couple of gentlemen in a, a little boat over there, and a, somebody on a kayak over yonder. A couple of gentlemen fishing off the bridge and uh, then as you saw some people on bicycles but it's not too busy up here today see no fishies or turtles a lot of times you see turtles right over there on that log right there and up here canoeing but, uh, over here on the edge of the property. I don't know if you can see it through trees or not. It's private property over there. Burger settle down. The feeder right there. For the deer. There. It's cool. I had to turn the camera off for a minute and run it through some busy area. And uh, bicycles. Lots of them. I think we settled down for a moment. These guys are uh, taking these old chicken houses. I'm not sure what they do in there. It's like, I think it's called Yargo Enterprises. But, uh, I think it's cool that they're repurposed them and making a living out of them. I'm sure that the chicken houses have made good living for people all over. It's like they're doing the recycling some uh, appliances out there. Yeah. You know. I think it's great for people to make a make a living on their own. Burger's getting wrapped up again. Burger. Okay. Calm down. There's been several places where they, they actually announce themselves. They're not doing that here. I don't get it. If you're out there, you ride bicycles on these 
trails where people are also walking, please announce yourself. Give some give somebody a little time to get out of the way. Prepare the dog. Blah blah blah. Man over. Over here towards the swampy area now. It's uh the spot about three weeks ago was straight up flooded. The trails was closed. He couldn't uh he couldn't walk in here. Of course it uh at that same time, it was a bridge over there. You couldn't see the ends of it. It looked like it was protruding from out of the lake. You can kind of see how far the water was up. Pretty high through here. Imagine I'd probably be walking currently about mid thigh in water if I had been trying to walk up here. You can get some water right there if you want. Had the that water level was got about a foot or so up there. He don't want just a drink. He wants to get out there in it. Bicycles. Slow down a little bit. That'll be uh, coming off of that. That just kind of loops around and right through there. So I'm going to slow down and let, let them get through there. I'm gonna have to either get him some training or find places that don't have bicycles. Should have came over earlier this morning and they took care of what I had to do when I got back, but it's kind of important. So. Probably could have waited till tomorrow morning, okay? And he's 
getting me hung up. Anyhow, we'll get past this pipeline. Cause I know I gotta watch for bicycles on the pipeline. When I get around the other part of the trail over there, I'll get back with you. Never noticed this uh, little peninsula out here. Pretty sweet. Is that somebody have a little campfire? I didn't pay more attention to the camera, don't I? So I got some more camp wood. A little firewood set up. Need more people out on the water with the kayaks. Nice spot. I don't know if you can see it or not. The trees are budding. See that red? I think it's awesome, a little red hue to put on the otherwise empty canopy. Pretty neat. Well, so there's pipeline. Got to get back on the pipeline. Walking around. I thought I'd check this out right quick though. This is neat. I've been walking. Oh uh, yeah, I do. I know how I walk, walk by it because uh, I'm not usually out here this time of the year. Or not so often anyway. Usually there's leaves on those trees. And then, of course, rigor causes me to miss a lot. But he's worth it. Anyhow, get back with you. Trying to get those doves. Huh? They flew. Oh well. I don't know if you can, the camera's picking it up or not. Look to. I hope you can see that red. And then, right over here, Rigger. Settle down a minute. See that top of that tree there? That is so cool. Another swampy area. This is pipeline. Trying to. I'm in a spot right here where I can see pretty good both ways. Trying to show y'all what I'm seeing. That waterfall. Little bit of waterfall right there. It's coming through those creeks. Hope I ain't making anybody sick with the camera. Alright. Finally getting into the Back in the woods again. We just found some place where that dog we just passed is marked. He, uh, he just encountered another dog. So he's still a little. <clears throat> Excited, but uh, yeah, <coughs> I do wish we'd have done this earlier this morning. I think I'm just gonna negate doing it if I don't get to do it early in the morning, but uh. 
do something else. I'm cutting a lot of wood out here. Must have been some trees fell. See them or not? The hey boy, he's all excited. Was that darn little bulldog? This cute little bulldog pulled his owner around like crazy. All that rigor's trying to pull me around. But, uh, oh well. Let me turn this around so y'all can watch. Watch where I'm going instead of where I'm watching. He's on full alert all the time. Late. Oh shit. Hang on. Another dog on the trail. Yeah. Bad time. See if I can get him out of here. on the trail. About time he got settled down from the last dog he just ramped up from this one. You can see the see the flow on the water tonight. current it's pretty cool not often can you see that huh joggers that time there's your water old boy favorite water now. I'm guessing since he watered over on the other side he's all right without doing it over here. Getting closer to the main trail, so we'll, I'm sure we'll start seeing more folks. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here until I get back to the truck. Now I'll, I'll speak back again. disastrous family on, on their bicycles decided to come through while we were cr trying to cross the bridge it's all like that old Ruger at. I've got to get him some training get, to get him some training or just quit doing this it's always to it but uh, anyhow it was good to be out anyway. But uh, we'll uh, talk to y'all on the next one. I'm sweaty. 
uh, get out and have yourself an adventure. And uh, as I say, the Mountain Bush Scrappers Alliance, go farther, stay longer. Have a good one.